girls. Um, it took so long because and I'm like so tired. Um, but it took so long because I ran into, it's raining out. I ran into um, a couple of my neighbors that we used to be neighbors. We're not anymore, but we've always gotten along with them so well and their kids used to play with our kids and they're just really 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 good people so we ended up stopping and talking for like 30 minutes and then I got my medicine I got an antibiotic for my sinus infection because my sinus infection is making me have the worst headache it's like pressure in my head and pressure in between my ears and it just keeps getting worse every day it's not to the point where I can't function but it, it's making it hard to function e each day that goes by it's like you know getting more and more uncomfortable so I finally called the doctor I did the virtual doctor and like doctor on demand but this one is teledoc and they called me in an antibiotic, so I am gonna go ahead and get that started tonight so I can get that in me and get you know start feeling better soon because this headache is just annoying. But, um, yeah, I saw my our ex neighbors and our friends, they're our friends. So we keep saying we want to, whenever we run into each other, we keep saying we need to get together, we need to get together, but, um, so we made sure we had each other's numbers and we're going to get together when everything settles down. So I really, there is a very, very dear friend of mine that I have really been wanting, wanting to get together with and I just have not like with everything going on lately I just have not been able to you know tis the season it's just a lot going on but um now I feel like it's gonna start slowing down a little bit and oh in between my jobs I've been in between jobs you know trying to learn this new job that I've been at the last couple months and um, which has gone well for the most part, but I got the job that I applied for before I got this position. I had applied at um, another job and I really, really, really wanted it. And apparently it was a really hard decision between the two, but I didn't get it. So I went with this company. Well, now, <laughs> this is how God works. Now, they called me back. The supervisor called me back and was like, hey, Renee, would you still be interested? And I'm like, heck yeah, you know? So, um, I'm really excited about that. I'm really thankful and excited and just blessed to and honored to take this position. And I'm looking forward to my new fresh start. You know, I'm looking, looking forward to my new journey with this company and just getting, getting back into like a regular routine, um, stability, you know, just the, because even with a temp job, it's the unknown in the back of your head, you know, you're not sure after your contract, like what's going to happen, although they ended up wanting to fire, I mean, wanting to hire me, which I really do appreciate, and I was, it was kind of hard today to let them know, honestly, because they've been so kind to me, they've just been so sweet, and I really, really, really appreciate the way that they've treated me, because for so long, when I was at ECU, um, I won't name any names, but someone that worked over me was very, just extremely rude, and it was extremely unnecessary. She just, she could not stand me, and she tried bullying me for eight and a half years. Finally, I was just like, I've had enough. So, 
yeah, but that's how God works. You know, I didn't, I couldn't see the future. I couldn't see what was going to happen, but now look at how it's happened. And now I'm going to have a job, a better job, you know, a much better job than I was at for eight and a half years. So anyways, I'll let them know today. I'll let um, my other job know today that I will be accepting another offer and you know, just that I really um, have enjoyed working with them and really thankful for the opportunity. But yeah, I've just been stressed. I've been tired because Nora has been sick. And with Christmas, running around like a chicken with my head cut off, trying to get everything lined up with the new job. Um, I mean, it's a lot that goes into it. If you're a coder, you know what goes into your credentials and having to, you know, show that when you are going through the application process and then the onboarding process. It's just a lot, a lot to do. You got to go here, go there, send this and that. <sighs> so, but I'm really proud of myself for doing this and making the move. And I'm really thanking God for this opportunity. So, I'm looking forward to the new year. Um, I have a couple things I need to do, like, you know, before I get started. And I'm just really excited about getting that done and just being able to woosah, and just start on a fresh note. But the girls are doing great. We have had the best time, even though Nora's been sick, it's kind of brought us closer, well it, well, it has brought us closer, and um, being at the house together, you know, we've just really been bonding lately, and Ari has been so sweet, and thoughtful, and loving, and kind, and just supportive of me, because she knows I've been stressed out, you know, with my little baby being sick for so long, and I just just ready to see my baby feel better but um yeah so we've had a, we had a great Christmas we celebrated with my my dad's side of the family first then my mom's side of the family um with my sister and I have footage from all that so I'm gonna try to you know get that going but um we had a great time and then we had our own little intimate you know, day, Christmas day together, just the girls and I, and it was really, really nice, so anyways, just a little update, but I'm about to go unload all these daggone groceries, I'm like, what was I thinking doing it this late, but I had to go get my antibiotic, and we needed bread, we needed like a few things, and you know, a few things always ends up turning into a lot, at least with me, it does, so, let's see if this light's better, yeah, um, but anyways, I'm gonna let y'all go, I'm about to be home, but the girls are doing good, I'm doing good, I'm just, whoo, tired, I feel like I could sleep for about a week, yeah I'm gonna go put these groceries up I hope everyone had a good Christmas excuse me I hope everyone had the best Christmas ever and I hope everyone has the best new year it's a new fresh start I'm really gonna start try, start back trying to excuse me eat healthy and really lose this weight because I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of carrying it around. It's just, ugh. So, I'm thinking if I eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, and then only give myself like one or two snacks throughout the day, that way I can kind of mentally keep up with what I'm eating and instead of just mindlessly, you know, eating something here and there. And then at the end of the day, you don't really realize what you put in your body, so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus on that and get back into working out and spending time with God. 
um, he met, of course, God is always with us in our hearts. You know, if you're a believer and you have a relationship with him. But when I went to church, when we, the girls and I went to church, he met me there. Like he, he allowed me to feel his presence in a way that was so strong. And I just bawled like a baby the whole the whole entire service I was just I don't like this light I was just bawling and just feeling God love on me and just tell me like it's gonna be okay you know I just needed that release because being a single mom of two doing it all on your own is no walk in the park and you know especially like if the ones around you are not gonna build you up and instead try to tear you down the second that things don't go your way or the second you know you get offended about something then it's just unnecessary it's just really disappointing but you see people's you know true thoughts and true colors when things like that happen so it's just a lot but a lot that I wouldn't I wouldn't want any other way I seriously just love my girls so much and you know they pick me up when I'm down they keep me going and I normally don't cry around them because I don't want to make them sad but they can tell when something's wrong with me I'm not good at all of you know at trying to act like nothing's wrong when it is like they know me so um yeah, I was emotional the lot like for a few days. I was like, "Mommy's being a crybaby," but I explained to Nora that you know some tears are good and it's okay to even when the tears when you're, when they're painful tears it's okay because it's your body, it's your heart's way of flushing your emotions out, and you know that um, it's just, it's okay to cry. So I'm actually glad that she has seen me cry a couple times lately because, you know, they need to see that I am, you know, even though I am super woman, <laughs> I am human and I, I'm only so strong, you know? So we have to be a team and we have to c come together and just stay on the same page. So, and that's what we're doing. And yeah, life is good. Life is good. But anyways, I love y'all and I hope y'all are doing great and have a happy new year. I will be trying to get footage, like I said, going up here, especially if I am able to have a little bit of time off. That would be amazing, but I'll, I'll let you know.